Right then, today is stripping day. So I need to get through that. Let's have a closer look, shall we? So yeah, I've got to get rid of that. And this is, it's a single core, 300 aluminium armoured cable. And there is also, there we go, oh, oh, that one there, some 185, single core 185, same stuff again, alum, aluminium armoured. So I've just been doing a little bit of an experiment. So what happened, I was starting, I was stripping it with the uh, Stanley knife. So I was going through it with that. And that's all very well and good, but it takes a long time. So I adjusted the depth of the wheel on the stripping machine. So the first one, it was that. Now as you can see there, see how it's cut in? And it's cut some of the, the armour off. Now that, that poses a problem, just mess. So it ends up mess all over the floor. I then tried again and it did the same. So it's still still splitting them. Which again, it's not an issue for the blade or anything because it's only, an, only aluminium, it's really soft. But it's just, like see this, look. Like little bits like that falling off. I mean, look how sharp that is. It'll stick in you now, it's bad news. So then I, I've adjusted the wheel right the way down. And when I've taken the, uh, taken it out, it's got a little, it's got a little score down it, but not a vast amount. So I can now use the stripping machine to put all of the colors, to put all of the cores through. And there is the stripping machine. So if you look through it, you see that's the blade there. It's a circular blade. And it spins round just on a shaft there and the little motor on the end. It's very simple really, but incredibly effective. That's the pile of rubbish. That's gonna get a lot bigger. That's what I've stripped so far. So what you do is take the armour off and it gets it down to just one, well, two bits of PVC you can see there, you can see the brown PVC and the black PVC and then you put it back through again but I have to readjust the machine, put it back through again and then that gets you down to the bright wire, the copper wire that you can then sell to the scrap man. aluminium like it's not it doesn't weigh very much but if I use that to go to the scrapyard because it's quite a long way for me to drive the nearest scrapyard to me and if I can use that as diesel money then I've paid it's free diesel to take the scrap to the scrapyard just using that I might, you might get 20 quid for it but it would be that full bag it'd be about 20 quid so the next stop is this. That's the next station. And by the, the station, I mean, you've got your stripping, stripping machine on your stripping table. So it goes in there, comes out there. So you take all your PVC off and then you turn the P, sorry, take all the PVC off, that gets thrown into there. Then you've got your paper and you've got your 
armoring left. Take the paper off, goes in that bag. Take the armoring off, goes in that bag. Turn round, drop it on there. Because that still needs to be stripped through the machine again. But then you're going from here, like that, with the piece, through there, wall up, and then it starts again. It's like sort of planning it like logistics if you want. Just because I don't like tidying up. I'm the worst for it. I hate it. I'm, I, I don't like it at work. I'm terrible. Typical electrical trades. Just don't like tidying up. So I thought I figured out if you have everything close at hand, then you sort of tidying up as you go. You don't really have to pick anything up off the floor or anything like that. So just planning, really. <gasps> I think there's a duck somewhere in here. I'll have to catch him. Have him for tea. Well, I think that's the majority of the 300 mil Whoa. changed over onto there, onto this part here, so it just goes straight into the machine. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of stripping of this to clear some area and then set, send that back through and have another go at it. That's what happens. All the little, all the little fragments, they all uh, spill about the place. It's just a bit of a pain to tidy them up, really. So that's why you try and get the depth like exactly like it's it's sort of 
that sort of measurements you're talking millimeters halves and millimeters and stuff but it doesn't matter too much it's just something if you can get it right then you don't have to tidy up so now i've got i've piled it there so it's easier for me to reach and put straight through the machine what i'm going to start doing is throwing that down there now let's just going to start throwing it on the floor because what will happen is that will get bigger and bigger and bigger and all of a sudden it'll just go wallop and it'll all fall on the floor anyway so i might as well do that so yeah i'm not going to film any more of that because you've seen it but it took me bloody ages and it's red hot <sighs> right starting with the smaller cables now so i'm going to try a test run just see where it goes to where it gets to um it might strip it, it might not. I'm going to go in the hole next to this next smaller one down. Look at that. I think that's all of the the 185 mil with the armor on i think because i've just found a little bit of 300 there as well which I, i'd missed so it's uh back to stripping them down now and then i'll throw them onto the floor in a different pile because i'll know that then i need to reset the uh the machine to strip them so off we go again <laughs> I'd run out of room in the waste bin because it'll put all that and it'll just fall straight back out so I've just processed all that as well which is two jobs in one shot on to the last little bit now put that little bit on the floor put that little bit there that's already been through the machine 
so it shouldn't be long now this is the smaller stuff as well this is the uh, single car 185s That's it, done. It's taken a while. I can't remember exactly what time I started, but it's now half past six. And it's been a day, it's been a full day. I'll just give you a quick look round at what's been achieved. So firstly, there's that bag there. There's probably, I don't know, 20 kilos in it or something. Uh, Go around to that. Now that should have been like up there, but what I've had to do along the way is put it through the uh, wood chipper. I modified a wood chipper to the other chip, chip those down, and that ends up like that. Now some of it, I believe, look, some of it ends. It doesn't quite get it, but then you get other bits which chips it down. To that which. What it does, it just lessens the volume of the um, of the waste, so you can so I can move it a lot easier. It's that there. And that's all it is. It's a good. It was, I think it was. I've had it a long time. I think it was about eighty quid or something. Decent little thing. There's the aluminium. Now back what we've got. We've got three, three boxes. Now I reckon there's about 50 kilos in that one and in that one. And there's probably about 30 kilos in that one. And then there's a little, a little bit there. There's probably another 25 kilos there. So what's that? So we've got 50, 50, there's 100, uh, 30, and uh, 25. So say this is, I don't know. Let's say 160, because we round that up. Another 20 there. So we'll call that 180 kilos. Now, at the moment, pounds a kilo, I've been led to believe, or somewhere around that. So what does that work out at? say 180 600 so there's over hopefully over a thousand pound but i shall put an update on uh on like a youtube short or something like that just to let people know exactly what there was i might even show you the ticket so that's it for the scrap and date today i think it's taken around about six hours but again, over a thousand pound in six hours. Yeah, it's not a bad day's work, really. But I'll let you know. But thanks very much for watching, if you watched all the way to the end, of course. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, one more thing. Finished off with a nice bottle of Budweiser. That was full about 10 minutes ago. Very nice indeed. I do like Budweiser. Also, San Miguel, and there's a brewery around the corner from me, which I'm going to start at the end of a video. I'll start putting their beer in as well, but it is absolutely delicious. It's about 15 minutes away from where I live. Fantastic. Thanks very much again for watching.